we are excited uh, with the support of the HD community, physicians, patients, uh, and our partners in the study, HSG, TFS, and the physicians in being able to enroll the study uh, so fast. Uh, we are about six weeks faster than we had uh, planned. And we basically started in October 2020 with the first patient in, and a year later, we have uh, fully enrolled the study. And the exciting news from that is that now we can determine when we will have the results. It's a 65 week study for the primary endpoint, total functional capacity. So that means that uh, early Q1 23, we have the last patient last visit and probably late in Q1 23, say March 23, we will have results from this study. The primary endpoint is total functional capacity. And that is basically looking uh, at various domains like uh, occupation, activities of daily living, can you do your finances, domestic chores. And in that way, you can basically measure what a patient can do in their daily life. It can be as simple as things, can they lift their grandchild? Can they do their own finances? And as you may remember, in Pride HD, what we had shown at the 45 MIG twice a day group is that the total functional capacity stayed stable after 50, after 52 weeks for the patients treated with predopidin. Normally, patients that have Huntington disease will lose about one point of a scale of 13 as part of the disease progression. Uh, as part of secondary endpoints, we are looking at things like motor endpoints, for example, the Q motor. We also have the TMS. We are looking at CUHDRS, and we are looking at things like cognition, quality of life. Thank you.